So the next modify command that I will be discussing is the rotate tool. Okay, first things first, uh, I'll just draw some objects here, for example, a rectangle. Okay, <clears throat> and let's say uh, three sided polygon, which is a rectangle. Okay, now I will invoke the rotate tool. Okay, let's say uh, rotate tool is invoked you need to select the object similar procedure with the erase move copy okay so uh, I just select this rectangle okay then after selecting the objects that you wanted to uh, rotate okay you can simply press the enter key okay and then specify base point okay so I would specify the base point at this location I'll just left click once okay I could move my mouse now okay and I could click here if I wanted to or here okay I'll just click here okay so that rectangle is rotated at that uh, angle provided by your cross here okay so I'll just type, type in undo okay so I'll just repeat the process I'll just type in RO that's the keyboard shortcut for rotate Okay, and then press enter okay I would select this rectangle again and then press enter and then specify base point okay let's say in this corner left click once okay now I will be inputting a specify rotation angle uh, in the command line okay I would say that will be 60 degrees okay I'll just type in 60 represent 60 degrees and then I'll press enter okay so the rectangle is rotated uh, 60 degrees okay and then you can select uh, single entities multiple entities or even all like for example rotate I will select these three lines okay and then I'll press enter then specify base point okay I could click anywhere okay like for example at this point and then you can rotate by using your crosshair or simply you can type in the angle by like for example 120 degrees I'll type in 120 and then press enter okay so the rectangle now is rotated at 120 degree angle okay so you can also rotate everything in the drawing area so I'll just select all or type in all okay I'll just type in all then all the objects will be selected press enter then you need to specify the base point okay so I would say here okay you can do it manually using your mouse pointer or you can input an angle value by typing the values like for example 150 degrees okay and then I'll just press enter okay so the the objects are rotated 150 degrees based on their uh, reference locations Okay, and that is the rotate tool and by the way okay never rotate a circle okay because if you rotate a circle the output will be still similar like for example if I'm going to rotate this circle then specify base point okay okay so if I'm going to place the locations like for example in that one okay you can click that nothing changes it's still a circle okay so probably if you're going to modify a circle by changing its location you can simply use the move to okay. and object specify base point and then click anywhere okay so that is the rotate tool